How you doing guys? Chad here. Trying to figure out how to get these boots on my sheepdog. <laughs> Molly doesn't care for them too much. She's still getting used to them. Let me get in the chicken house here. I'll tell you a little bit about it. Some barn cats are at my feet. Come on guys. So basically anybody who has a long haired dog that lives in a cold climate must know that when a long haired dog walks around in the snow, they get these huge snowballs, snow clump type things stuck to their feet, in between their toes, all over their hair, and it goes halfway up their leg, and it's not good. What are you guys doing? We've had our first snowfall here for a few weeks now here in Ontario, Canada. Whenever our sheepdog, Molly, gets these snow clumps stuck to her leg, she's gotta spend all evening locked up in our laundry room to thaw out. The snowballs and the snow melts all over from her legs, and then it just makes a bunch of little puddles all on the tiles of our laundry room, and it's not good. I've been looking for boots for my sheepdog for a long time now. And I found one on Amazon that's her size. I like the color, it's a nice red color. And they go all the way up to her little ankle there. The little dog leg. At least the Rhode Islands gave me one egg. They're probably gonna lay a little bit later or they laid some on the ground. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? At least the light Sussex gave me an egg too, but it's a little bit small. It's a little bit bigger than a normal fart egg, so they're getting better. Four eggs, what did I tell you guys? And the hen pecked me when I took it. You're okay. You're okay. She's purring and purring. I hope that these boots are going to be a good fit for her and they don't just fly off or she can pull them off very easily. They're a nice color, but I'm tired, but she's tired of always having to thaw out in the laundry room, eh? So I've been trying to come up with a solution as to how to prevent her loneliness locked up in our laundry room. She likes to wander around the house. She likes to sit by my desk when I'm editing these YouTube videos and she can't do that when she's gonna leave puddles of water all around the house, which is a hardwood floor. You can't get puddles of water all over hardwood floor. You'll ruin the floor. But longer as she stays out on a snow day at the farm, it's a disaster. So hopefully these boots help a little bit. Only have a few chicken eggs today. Have to give them a little bit longer to lay. They uh, they usually just lay like early in the morning. The past couple weeks, it's been all throughout the day. Some of them lay in the morning, and then I have to check it a little bit later on. And because we live in such a cold climate and it's a bit nippy out today, the eggs will freeze if I don't go back and collect them. So let's head on into the duck house and see what eggs we got in there. I can see right away that these boots, the way they're designed, they have like a rubber bottom so that it's non-slip. And then they have two Velcro straps that go around and then they have a little drawstring at the top. And I can see already that it's starting to slowly slide down. So the bottom of her foot 
is no longer where the rubber pad is. It's kind of pushed off to the side. And I don't know if that makes her uncomfortable. <coughs> don't choke on the straw. She's eating the duck poop again. The bottom is down here where her foot is, but the rubber is up here. So it's kind of shifted a bit. The chicken eggs, you can usually see them right away, but the duck eggs, sometimes it takes a while to locate them. Molly helps me most of the time. I made these little nesting areas with the straw, eh? So I gotta pull that out and try to find the eggs because it's like an Easter egg hunt every time I look for the duck eggs. Lovely, move, move, move kiddo, move. I'm checking the eggs. Checking the eggs, I can't see. Lovely, I can't see. There's an egg down there. See, there's an egg. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh yeah, another duck egg. Woo! Get out of here. Get out of here. I can't even close up the duck house now because Chunky, Stormy, and Dexter are all in there. <laughs> Stormy! Dexter, let's go! Stormy, come on! Where's Chunk? Chunky, come on! Hey, Chunky! Let's go! Dexter, let's go! Let's go, guys. Let me give you an update on these little heater pucks that I put inside the duck's water. I feel like it's working out really, really great. You can see the water's not frozen and the puck is just sitting there and it keeps the water pretty thawed. You know, you still get a little bit of sand and stuff in there. Oh God, Chunky went inside the duck house. stinker guys cats are always following me wherever I go anywhere around the farm anywhere there's stormy there's Maggie chunky's down here see chunks down there Dexter and lovely were here a second ago Molly's always hanging around there's Dexter Dexter <laughs> I don't know where lovely is lovely <laughs> God, these cats just follow me around the farm. Lovely, what are you doing up there? Hey, get down. Lovely, hey, lovely, get down. Get down, it's slippery with the snow. Can you believe guys that these cats were like feral like four or five months ago they were feral they couldn't even be picked up they couldn't even be touched and now they're so sweet and lovely
you'll notice that I'm no longer taking the ducks out to the orchard pasture. They don't really do much out there. There's nothing for them to forage at this time of year with the snow coverage. And I have these heated water bowls for them. So they have a constant access to water and they're protected in the run. And it's a little bit less work for me to do in this colder weather. Okay, back to the chicken house we go so I can drop off these two duck eggs. That's all we got, it's two duck eggs. We got like 13, 14 hens in there. Actually, four of them are too young to lay yet, so not too bad, I guess. They're still getting their stress relieved from being away from the geese. Junkie's just sitting there watching the hens. He's just sitting there. He's waiting for his opportunity to grab them. Chunk's got a very high prey drive. He chases everything. Molly's trying to take her boots off. Molly, that's no. You stay, okay? You don't try to take the boots off. They're for your own good. They're for your own good. There we go. Two more beautiful eggs. Stormy, you better not be trying to get in that door. You don't want those chickens. They're not yummy at all. How about you, Chunk? You want to have a nap, buddy? Okay, I think these kittens probably want some food. Chunky, Dexter, let's go guys. <laughs> let's see if the cats will follow me. Let's go guys. Come on, claw crew. Let's go, Maggie, lovely, Dexter, Dexter. <laughs> Somebody's following me. Chunky, you want food? You guys want food? <laughs> They're following me guys. These cats are amazing. Just makes everything on the farm so much happier. Even Stormy's here and she already had breakfast. I give the cats a combination of this stuff. It's the pate whiskus and dry food. And they like both of them. Chunky just goes from dish to dish. He was eating out of this dish, and now he took over Lovely's dish. He loves to eat that guy. That's why he's so fat. Look at his body. His body is so fat. <laughs> I love him. Stormy, you're not eating your breakfast? Actually, this is brunch for Stormy. Stormy won't even eat dry kibble, not unless she's absolutely desperate. She likes the wet stuff, but these kittens, I'm training them to eat both, hey? So in the morning, they get a wet food, and then they have dry food to eat whenever they want, and for dinner, they get dry food. So I don't want them to get accustomed to eating only the wet food. All the kittens love to hang around with me wherever I go on the farm, maybe because they're kittens and they're very playful. Fozzy Bear, on the other hand, he just sticks by the barn. He hardly ever goes away from the barn. And I don't even know where he is right now. He's probably taken a nap in the, the straw at the back of the barn. He's a pretty lazy guy, I must say. Fozzy! Fozzy! <laughs> Molly, you okay? You okay? You're okay. How are the boots? How are the boots?
out of here. Why are you eating my camera? <laughs> These geese are amazing, but they eat everything. They eat the bucket, they eat the tree bark, they eat wood, they eat sticks, they eat my camera. They're crazy. Look, they're eating the bucket now. Stop eating the bucket. <laughs> you gotta watch it with these geese because they eat everything. Woo. <laughs> Always fun times at the Hidden Spring Farm. It's pretty cool that the geese don't really mind the snow and the cold either. They get right in the water. It's not really an issue. They walk around in the snow all day long in this little paddock area. And I mean, that's, that's pretty good. They're very hardy birds also. Maggie, you want some more? You want some more? Chunky, I know you want some more. I see you down there. I see ya. You want some more, Chunk? You want some more? There you go. Fuzzy, you want some? That's for Fuzzy, guys. No. Here, Fuzzy. Eat up. See how her boots are going sideways now, guys? I don't know if this boot thing is going to work out. The rubber sole is not even touching the ground. They're sliding off. It didn't take Molly very long at all, though, to get accustomed to it. She's running around. She's playing with them. It's fine. I thought it might take her a while to get used to it, but she didn't want to walk at first. I built this barn cat barn last year, and there's a heated pad down there, and hopefully... Hopefully the cats will stay in here. I put a trail camera out to see if the kittens will stay inside the house overnight. Let's take a look. Here's Chunky playing with a stuffed toy. And there's Dexter going inside the house. Chunky's following him in. And then it's either Maggie or Lovely or Lovely or Maggie. And all four of the kittens are in there. See that, guys? Yes! The kittens are actually staying for periods of time throughout the evening when it's really cold inside the barn cat barn. Yes, it's working. Maggie, are you still working on it? You're not done? I think the verdict is in about these dog boots. <laughs> they should have made them a little bit taller so that it really covers the dog leg. It's just short enough that it slides down the bend in her leg. If it was like taller than that, and then you cinched the drawstring, then it, the drawstring wouldn't be able to slide down because it's, it's hitting against that dog leg. I'll keep working on it. We'll see if she can stay in my office tonight while I'm editing or if she's gonna have to thaw out in the laundry room. I think she's gonna be good. I don't think she'll have to spend hours in the laundry room. So these might be useful for something. They're not perfect. They got a few issues and they keep shifting on her feet, but it's better than nothing. Hey Molly, got your sexy boots on. Stormy, come here. Stormy still likes going up to my shoulders once in a while. <laughs> she just jumps up there, she's crazy. Stormy, you be nice to Dexter. Hey, you be nice to Dexter. What are you doing, Dexter? Are you being cute? Sometimes I can't tell the two apart if it's not for their collar. Dexter has the purple collar and Stormy has the pink collar. I think Stormy had enough of Dexter now. <laughs> These cats are awesome. Appreciate you guys watching all the fun today at the Hidden Spring Farm. And don't forget to pound the like for me, guys. A little bit of extra fun if you pound the like. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. If you are subscribed to the channel, I really do appreciate you watching. It's uh, always a fun time. Always a fun time here at the Hidden Spring Farm. <laughs> Crazy times, but fun. Anyways, thanks for watching. You guys take care, okay?